Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna like make a sword with randomized animations. Pretty much, let's say the first time you click, you do like a downward swing, and then maybe the second time you s click, you do a sideways swing or something like that. So, let's start. So, on starter pack, I'm just gonna insert a tool. I'm just gonna rename this to test. I'm gonna insert a part and name this handle now let's just put a local script in here just for now we're not going to modify it yet besides renaming it to let's say animations oh let's spell that right so first thing we should do is actually create our animations so you want to head to plugins build rig and then whatever rig you're using i'm using r15 then open the animation editor or whatever editor you have and you can start animating I'm just gonna make some like random dude breaking his back just something that's noticeable like a noticeable difference from the other animation that's gonna be there so it's pretty clear that's randomized I think this works hit then once you're done you can hit let's set the animation actually yeah let's keep that at core and then i'm going to publish to roblox and then you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name this test one and you can hit submit then right here you can see this little id text you hit this little copy button and then you copy the id and if you didn't copy it you can open the toolbox you can go to your models or you can go to this little area which is your created stuff and then you can go to my animations you can find test one or whatever you named it right click on it and press copy asset id if you need the code now in animations i'm just gonna remove this text and i'm gonna do a note which is two dashes and then i'm just gonna do anim one and then paste in my id just so i can note it down now I'm going to create my second animation, so I'm going to select the same rig, I'm going to hit the three dots and create new. I'll just name this test 2, and I guess I can make him go sideways, like this. You know, something noticeably different from the other one. Now I'm going to hit the three dots, publish to Roblox, and submit. I'm going to copy the ID. I'm going to head back to our script. And then I can do NM2. And then I'm going to save my ID here, just so we don't forget in the future. So now we can begin on our script. So the first thing we're going to do is create our variables. The first variable we should do is just a variable for our tool. So local tool equals script.parent. We're just using this because it's well it's just one word it's quicker than this then we're gonna have to get stuff like the player's character the actual player and the player's humanoid so what we're gonna do local player equals game dot players dot local player local character equals player dot character and let's actually add a weight so this is going to wait until this variable gets completed, you could say that, or when the player's character is there. And then we're going to do local humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid. So that's just to make sure that the humanoid is actually in the player. So now we can start with our animation variables. So let's start off with our first animation. Let's store our animation ID so local animation ID this is going to be equal to and then you can go up here and copy your animation ID then we can put quotation marks and paste our ID in between so then we're just going to load the animation or maybe you should first create a new instance so local let's say animation equals instance dot new animation this is the same as like going let's say to test 
or going somewhere in the game, hitting the plus and inserting an animation, except it's just being done with the script. So you can just delete that. Now we're gonna set the animation ID of this animation. So animation to animation ID equals, and now we're gonna set to RBX asset ID slash slash with a colon which should be the correct thing so we're getting this is how the code format is for assets or for animation assets anyways and then we're just going to do a continuation and then animation id so this is just inputting this right here so that should just be the setup for our first animation now you can copy and paste this to create another animation but i'm just going to retype it so i'm going to do local animation id2 and then that's going to be just copy this up here and then quotation marks and paste it in local animation 2 equals instance.new animation and then animation 2 dot animation id equals rbx asset id colon slash slash continuation this continues it so you can add variables values and all that stuff to your string and we're just going to do animation ID 2. So this is pretty much the variables that we have. We should actually load our animations because we created our animation, set the ID and whatnot, but we need to load the animation into the humanoid. So we can do local anim1 equals humanoid load animation. And then we can do anim let's do animation dot animation id which should load actually let's just do animation so we're just going to do animation and then local anim2 equals humanoid load animation animation 2 so this here is loading both of the animations into the humanoid so we can actually play it so now we can get onto when the player uses the tool so using a tool variable we can do tool dot activated connect function so when this tool is activated in other words when the player clicks we're going to create a random number so this is not probably not the best effective way to do it but it's pretty simple and it works pretty well so we can do local animation to play i guess actually i'm just going to do a to play equals math dot random then your minimum number and your maximum number so usually you should keep your minimum number to one and you should keep your maximum number to whatever amount of animations you have so since i have two the minimum is one and the maximum is two meaning it's going to pick a random number between one and two which is only going to be one or two so this is going to change every time the player clicks because we, we want a different animation or a different number each time. So now if a to play is equivalent to one, then we're going to do animation one play. So we're going to play the number one animation else if a to play is equivalent to two then we're going to do animation two play so if it's one we play animation one if it's two we play animation two every time we click it's going to get randomized so let's say the first time we click it's one it's going to play animation one maybe the second time is also one it's also going to play one but maybe the third time is two so it's going to play animation two instead so that should be our animation script completed so let's go ahead and close this out and we can get rid of our dummy we don't really need him so let's go ahead and hit play and test this out let's let this load up so oh we got a problem here local character player dot character oh i should actually do character added if, if we're gonna add the weight so let's just do that. So now let's let this load. So here we are, we're in the game. We have our tool. All right, we went sideways. We went sideways. Oh, and then we went that way. As you can see, it's 
not the same animation every time you can see sometimes it's sideways sometimes it's that way so yeah that's how you can make a tool with randomized animations so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully it helped you see ya